out of you. So we've got a team VOD here of a 4.4k team against a 4.5, 4.6k team, I think. Um, and we're going to look at, well, this first map is dive. So we're going to look at dive coordination, how individual players play together, right? We have the ball because I think the Winston is banned mostly. Uh, in this week's rotation, right, you've got the Winston, the Samra, Soldier, and the Lucio ban. Um, so the ball makes sense, right, if you're going to play dive. Okay. Got a YouTube VOD here, so I do not control the camera. Which, I actually like to share replay VODs a little bit more right now. But we've got a fair on the enemy team. And then we are playing the Samra Genji. So the fair does a little bit more poke, so we should play a little bit faster, right? Right off the bat, our Hammond player here drops very, very low. Let's see what happens. So we are a lot later than the... Why? Do they teleport? What happens? Hmm. No. Roll out faster, I guess? Our Tracer goes for flank, and their Tracer goes to shoot tanks. So I very much suggest that Tracer players always here, they support their ball. Um, because oftentimes what will happen is both tanks will go to the, the, the middle pillar here real quick. And then both Tracers will shoot the enemy tank or each other. Uh, but if your Tracer goes for the flank, then your, your ball is just going to get chunked here. I'm trying to fight this, obviously. Go over bridge. Our Diva tries to eat the pull but doesn't eat it, so that's a mistake. Uh, our... <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Somebody gets stuck. Okay, so our Brig got stuck, and our Anna Insta dies. Uh, so this is a horrible start for our Resident 4.4k team here. And I think that's all because they couldn't take the space right. Uh, we wanted to eat the fair poop there. And also... I think at some point our supports just stopped, uh, but I think they have to keep rotating, take this this bridge site here, and support our Hammond, uh, because right now our Hammond can't get any help. He goes to one HP. You have to give up all the space, right? That's all because our tracer also didn't help at the start. He's looking for flanks. Uh, I wouldn't suggest looking for flanks that early, and then we start wrecked. The I feed, instant feed. So yeah, because both supports are dead, we still get the Diva Mix, that's a pretty good trade, right? But um, eventually we should just reset this. We even get the, the Mini Diva. Just no way we win that after our supports die. So now we have to look at our retakes, right? Very far zoomed out here. But let's see how we rotate. The enemy has a fair, and it's pretty hard to retake into fair. Let us see how we do that. Okay, so we're here in the comms right now. So then we go right side. Half of the team is saying go right side. The other half is we saying don't no go right, right side. Leap the trace here, but hook it up. There's a time, right? Ball goes point. Pretty good, right? Their fair actually has to drop here. So if we can play really fast, maybe look for a dive, that'd be really good. What I don't like is that our whole team here coming from the same angle like we're all in a little ball but we're playing dive we're not playing a death ball count um, so I think maybe the tracer could go for this flank right here he could be set up and then you could look for a dive that'd be better here ball goes for slam on tanks that makes sense right we're trying to pressure point eventually their fairy gets a pick on our tracer even uh, again, he goes for flank, but I mean, our tracer's already dead, so it's already looking real bad. Again, he does end up killing the Anna, right, with the flank I was talking about. Didn't have to use any ult, so it's pretty bad for us. We now have the Nano, though. 
but we could look like Nano or Tracer or a Genji who's really close to Blade. I think Nano Genji Blade could be really good here. Let's see how that works out if we do end up going for that. Pulling in. Our Hammond goes for very aggressive mines here. Um, but Anna just walks out. This does end up zoning the Anna though. So maybe we shouldn't commit to her that much more. And, our, and Anna ends up dying as we walk in. Let's see how our Anna dies here. Guess she gets booped. Here. Ball comes in. Booped. Rip. That's the strength of ball, right? That's why going over this bridge is pretty hard. You really want to like push out these these tank spots with your tracer. Ball ends up dying, but we have no support right now. So this fight's basically lost. We should reset now using ults. Um, but we're like down free. Like, this is a really bad team mistake, right? That we're using these ults. So the hammer ult was fine, right? But then our Anna and our Brig, and I think one more guy even died. So we really should just be... And now our Gandy's dead. The fair doesn't end up dying. But really, are we going to win this? Did you end up using both their support ults? I feel like we need to like make a plan of the engage here. Like we have a lot of ults. Yeah, I guess we didn't have that many ults walking in. We have nano and, and so either we could have aggressively nanoed, but waiting for nano and blade is also fine, right? Okay. So we do end up resetting, but it's pretty late, right? Because now we're at 81%, so we have to stress the touch. Um, so instantly resetting after both our supports that would have been a little bit better understandable and we talk about the nano blade and the comms here it's already really forced right you see where our genji is and where their anna is it's very hard to reach that there's no way we're just gonna go for that oh it ended up getting it pretty easy their diva. Touch, touch, touch. A bomb in our Genji. But it's a good trade. I would have loved to see POVs here. Uh, but when you do nano blades from this far, I feel like the best Anna's they'll just sleep you. Um, because you have to do this long of a dash. Our Hammond does connect at the same time we do. Then get a nice dash onto them. They do end up counter diva bombing, getting our Genji. But that's pretty worth it. We got two for one. The engage blade. I would have just liked to see us take a little bit more space, like here, and then done it, right? Then uh, we could have, you know, uh, set up that play a little bit more. I feel like we just hoped that it was going to work, which it did. We should win this fight, but it could have just not worked. Oh, oh and then getting clutched on right now. So, our Brig hasn't gotten an ult yet. <laughs> He's finally got his ult. And then before he gets to use it, he gets barraged. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Our break is a very sad person, right? Laser touching. And on point, and on point, and on point. I'm almost there. Follow me. Mercy dead. So we kill the fair and we kill the mercy. So how do we end up losing this? Their tracer goes to fight, or our tracer goes to fight their Anna. Ball ends up dying to Hammond Mines. And our Diva ends up dying to Tracer. Oh, and then Tracer also dies to Rihanna. So we just lose duels all around. I feel like especially when you're up, 
you want to regroup on point, really focus on point, and then you'll be good. QQ Hammond. Freaking Hammond. How are we going to clutch this out? That's the real question here. I'm going to have to say X to doubt this one. Yeah, not looking too hot. But like, that first fight, we just got booped right. Um, so that's already really unlucky. And then the retakes are hard, but on the retakes too, we just all came from the same angle. We didn't set anything up. So really, if you want to play dive, and dive is pretty good on a map like this, right? I'm not going to say dive is garbage here. Um, but if you want to play dive, you have to come from different locations. You have to create space, right? You have to poke away their tanks, especially if you're playing the Brig. You have to give those armor packs to your Tracer. The tracer has to play really aggro. You have to make space, and then you have to go for your plays, right? Now we're just, you know, walking in, trying something. Our Hammond swings in, he puts mines on the bridge, gets nobody. We nano blade across the map. Those kill two people, but it is our nano blade, right? So it all just feels really telegraphed. And we're not really connecting the getter unless we have those ults. Oh, did he get pulse bombed when he was rallying? Did he finally use rally and get pulsed? Rally. Fighting. Crazy. Oh, he's here. He's coming back for the spawn of rally. Very interesting. Makes the jump over. Rally's over at this point. <laughs> So he's used this whole rally just for the speed boost. Now he's dead. I'm so sad. Poor Briggs just been getting bullied. I've been having a good time. Well, we're still touching. Is this fight ever gonna end? Are we gonna clutch? Their tracer dies or Anna dies. Okay. So eventually, we'll go ahead and lose this. Eventually. Three hours later. Okay, we've done it. We've lost it. Next map. Playing a whole different count. Now it's really good to go together. So I expect that Team 4.4K here. Gonna do a lot better on this comp. Uh, okay. <laughs> Enemy team's playing a Doom. And are they gonna stay on the Symmetra or just using it for the TP? They're just using it for the TP. And they're playing like a pretty heavy, heavy rush comp here, right? If they don't get a kill real quick, then they're just gonna get out poked. This, this comp here. But I really feel like you just wanna like play aggressive with this comp, shoot their shield a lot. And try to wall off people that are have like used cooldowns, right? So Zarya uses bubble. Um, you go for the Zarya. If they're doom, you know, right clicks in, shifts out, shift ease out. You can try to go for a wall on him and go on him. If their Reaper doesn't have his ray form, you can focus the Reaper really hard. Right? So there's a lot of cooldowns that can get forced out on this comp. That um this team really doesn't have that issue, right? Especially because they can play off the Maywall, and Maywall is extremely strong. They're here a little bit earlier because of the PP Reaper. We wall. That's a great wall. We split off this Ryan, who is like mega aggro. Doom goes for punch, and now we should push. Okay, we don't push anything. We go there a little bit, and then we walk back. But as long as we go to get her, our break gets split here. Bad. He needs. Be with the team. See if the break gets picked here, but Brig didn't know that they were going on point. So he's alone. He gets the drone forced out. Bad. We just need to go to point here. Here we did it, but we got drone forced out, which is a 25 second cooldown. But still bad. Oh, nice wall on the greedy Zarya there. That's really good, right? You use the self bubble. Yeah, you use the self bubble. We gotta kill this dude. Take him out. Clap him. 
Nice. We did it. The greedy Zarya has been punished. So this is the problem with Zarya, right? Because she really wants that energy, uh, but she has to step out in front of the team to get that energy charged in this situation, right? And then she just gets walled. Like, May is like the uber counter to Zarya. Because Zarya wants to be really greedy and play really greedy and get right clicks and the farmer ult. And May is like, nah, you can't, you can't go out of position against me. I'm OP. So Razan here has got to play a little bit more passive. He just has to shield his Doomfist when he's engaging. And then he can go for a self bubble after, right? But he shouldn't go for aggro self bubbles early. Because then, team 4.4k here. They can just punish. Reaper's going for flank. Ray gets him up with the flail. They're going to push him to get her. I like this, right? Or they even kill him? Wow. But just forcing the Reaper Wraith makes him play so damn passive. Um, so being able to just force that with like a um, McCray's flashbang, it's 100% worth it, right? It's like a 12 second cooldown. Um, you force that shit. Really good. And then we also go for a combo on main. So a lot's happening right now, but this was good. And then we pull Fire Strike, top T Wall. A good combo, right? The enemy team is no diva, so they can't eat any of that. Um, so great. They only used the Baptiste to win that fight. Got there. Oh, nice pull on the Rhine. Helmer is fucking aggressive. He's going in there. He has to watch out, though. Well, like. Brig's pretty squishy right now. Brig just a doom punch can punch at him. And his AoE healing isn't with the team if you like that. Bro, it's been working out really well. It's a good bongo. Nice early. Oh, we get freaking shatter here, bro. Okay. Why is our shield so low? What? They have like. They swap to Kree. May. Okay. Mr. Aliens here. Shield somehow already low, even though the fight's just started. So obviously something went wrong there. I don't know why Aliens held up a shield. Uh. Okay, he's just blocking poke. I feel like Arisa should be better for this, but if we didn't have it, then sure. Okay, wall in. Miss our wall. Three bongo. They're shooting our shield. And then they go for shatter. We also have shatter. So their shield's also broke. They just hit the shatter first. The right doesn't end up dying. Grab. We get shattered. That's okay though. I feel like they didn't really need that grab. But they still used it, so that's good for us. We used our shatter, but our ride died while shattering. So it's kind of sad. And then we used our bomb. That's okay. Aliens jumped. God damn it, aliens. What did we just talk about? That's true, we did jump. Did he try to like... Oh, he tried jumping and then shattering. That's a Ryan mistake. That's a rookie mistake right there. <laughs> so in the VOD review of Braven, I was going off on him about jumping while the enemy team is trying to shoot you or the enemy widow is trying to shoot you. Now we've got your resident main tank player, a Aliens, here. Goes for the jump. Shatter. Not good. <laughs> But I don't think he would have gotten it first anyway. A little bit more stall. That's good. We have a lot of ults coming back in, right? Brig ults, like, really, really good. They're also going to have Brig ult. I thought that makes it harder. You shatter? Yes, you don't want to jump. Makes it easier to block it, too. But, I mean, the enemy team. We wanted to pull high noon. 
I think because they don't have a diva, you always open up with mailed here. Uh, it's really, really strong. Because you basically only need one fight win, right? So you could just break ult and mailed, and then pull everybody back into the mail because there's also no speed to speed them out. Okay, so we are pulling. Our mail gets walled. Oof. Rough. Enemy team's always gonna wall you here. Um, so that's very awkward. No, no, we. <laughs> At least we tried. Okay, and then they high noon. We get the enemy right in the freeze somehow. He dies, and then we somehow get shot. Hmm. Good thing YouTube has a dot twenty five playback speed. Thank you, Mr. YouTube. Okay, we hit the wall up. We don't use our rally. They use their rally. Get the Rhine in the freeze. So good. Rhine, 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 Rhine. Okay, nice nade from them. All of us. Okay, Rhine's gonna die here. And then... They're Kree ulting. This shit's fully charged at this point. There's no Orisa shield up either. Please hide, people! Your Ryan's. <laughs> Why are they not hiding? <laughs> they're like, guys, they're high nooning. This isn't gonna break our shield. Our shield is like a million HP. It won't break. It'll take like eight of his shots. Don't worry about it. It won't break in one shot here. Oh, no. We. <laughs> They're all just trying to kill the Rhine. Guys, you can shoot the Rhine from here too. You don't need to be an Ainun LOS. Come on, buddies. Well, I guess we did kill the Rhine. <laughs> then, we did. The high noon. It's lost. Oh, yeah. Not pro. Trust me. We still saved a lot of ults, though. But they used High Noon, Rally, and uh, I guess this they just didn't farm any grab at all. They just used High Noon, Rally. We used our mailed only. So it's not the end of the world. We didn't use too many of So we can look to just rally in here, get the armor, and then push. I feel like if the enemy team is... Okay, so this is something that... Teams are doing right, they're walling out to not get walled themselves. But when the enemy team is this far away, when the enemy may is this far away, what you can do is just have your may and right stack up. And then when you get walled, when you walk out, then you just wall the enemy, not before that. Because if you do it before that, then they can save wall and then push later with their wall again. Right? Uh, see here, we use our wall to walk out, which gets us out, right? But now they still have wall, and we don't have wall. So they wall off our Baptiste. So smart wall usage for me. Right? But if we didn't use our wall there, we could have maybe like walled off their retreat. Here. He does not have shatter. Yes, yeah, 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 Couldn't really wall fire strike there, be, or uh, I'm reacting to Mr. Lemon here. But window fire strike there, I don't think you could have done it if they just wall in time. No. They could also just wall off the fire strike. Uh, yeah, they should only have the shatter anyway, grab, right? we need to bait out the wall if we want to do stuff like that. Okay. That's what we need. What we could have done. Okay, we'll go back.
what we could have done is not walked out with wall, had our May stack on our Rhyme, and then if they wall the choke, then we wall the enemy team, and then we walk in after both walls are down with Baptiste Fire Strike Pull. And then they can't wall it off anymore. Absolutely genius. Plan is fought out. And then if they save the wall, then we just save our wall too, right? It's no problem. Okay. Let's see here. They have grab. Razan has not been farming. Razan has not been having a good time. So we're actually not looking too bad here. They're obviously going to look to wall us off again. Um, but I think we have enough time to just do the same thing again. We can walk through choke. Look if they wall us and then wall them off. This time though, the Ryan's really close. Uh, so maybe you do need to wall yourself out here. Well, you got demoted. Wow. We wall out here. This is actually better because the Ryan's really close, right? So now we can instantly push into the Ryan when we use this wall. Um, so this is where you would use a wall to walk out. But when they were that far earlier, you don't use the wall to walk out, right? There's the difference there. Now, you see how much effect this wall has? He was actually close. Right. You know. A lot of damage. And they grab us. Also high noon. Cannot hide, we are grabbed. Oh. Nice, they didn't get anything. Got the drone. A lot of damage here though. Did we block it with the shield? Oh, wait. Did our mind just shatter? I'm so confused. What just happened here? Okay, we're slow mo. Okay, their Ryan shattered. And we blocked it. I don't know what happened to that shattered. But... Okay. We don't get killed by their, their high noon somehow. Their Ryan goes for the pin. Gets our resident Urisa player. Hiccups. And then we lose to the ground. Okay. I really feel like our retakes in both these these games weren't that great. Like we won the first fight, so we get that 84%. And then we kind of mess up our retakes. Like we try to do these old combos. Uh, but we're thinking a little too easy, right? Like we're not considering what the enemy team can do. So for example, on that early wall, right? Then they can just wall off our Baptisto. But maybe we bait out their wall first and then we do our pull fire strike Baptiste old combo, right? That'd be a lot better. Or on the Lee J Garden, uh, you know, we set up first, get our tracer behind them, and then we dive, right? Uh, a few things we can. So we're going for another different strat here. Um, let's see what we are doing here. Let's see what they're doing. <laughs> the last map in scrims, obviously, even though it's 2 0. Um, not over yet. And we're going for map free here. Okay. So we have same cop except we have Moira and they have Anna. Which means the Moira is not diveable. But if you have Moira, you obviously don't have as much range damage and ranged healing. Um, so you need to like hard commit. So you need to find this Anna killer quick. Otherwise they're going to get way more value than you. Okay, so we call out the Anna. We're not really looking to set up a flank again. Our tracer is with our stack, and so is our ball. So it's like really hard to dive just from like being all in the same spot. Our tracer was right side here. Um, then our ball could go through main, and we could actually set up a dive. But this is just awkward. Okay, now we go together. Or Pharaoh's already dead because I think he's getting shot by the enemy. Land <laughs> okay, the Anna. You kill her, so good job there. But they've already killed our team. Oh, we do kill Tracer. It's, we're trading. 
Mercy fast, we're pushing place out. Okay. Yeah, mercy, mercy. Mini diva, mini diva, mini diva. Uh, mercy still mini alive. Diva. Oh, and they're wrecking shit. I'm getting this up, sir. Mercy Rip Emperor will miss you and the legs. Uh, What's wrong with Emperor? Oh, he died on fair? I'm dead. I'm keeping up with you. I mean, the Indiana can help out a lot in the fair mercy battle. And it's actually a hit too. It's pretty good damage. 70 damage a shot, I think. A lot of damage. Uh, the Ana is sitting on their Mega. She's hit once. She okay, uses I'm going, I'm going. Okay. Go on the Ana again. This time, Nicholas. Nice flank. Like to see it. He's contesting his right side. Normally, I'd assume the enemy Tracer would go for the contest here. Because he has the big pack he can control here. Um, so it's pretty weird that he's not doing that right now. Okay, so use her nade. Oh, uh, now it's a pretty easy kill. Nice job. Obviously, we can't help our Moira too much because he's Moira. And if we go counter dive, then their Anna lives, and then they. Right? So I would maybe consider playing the Anna here yourself. Uh, because it is such a long map and sometimes hard to dive and the mercy can help the Anna a lot, etc. That all barrage is really good. Okay, but okay. if you want to play the Moyan, it's fine too. Nicholas is now popping off because he wasn't really contested by the enemy tracer. And at this point, we're clean the people up on point. We have a lot of people who are all split. Oh no, we're gonna lose! Um, we are one, two, three, four, five people. They are one, I guess two, three, four. So we should win this fight, but I think our target focus is god awful. Uh, our fans want to be wanting. Mercy's trying to help, I guess. Diva gets DMAC, she bombs, so now we really need to kill Mini Diva. I guess we don't. Our ball dies to D.Va. And our mini D.Va dies eventually. For res tracing. Oh boy. Oh, we res two. But then our tracer dies. So it's a mess and this is all really bad for us, right? All these trades are back as they have the point. Needed a little bit better target focus there to clean that up. And this is bad. Look at how many ults they have. And they're also a little bit better than ours too, because the nano barrage is really, really good. So I assume though there's nano barrages next fight, and Diva's not in like a perfect spot. That's hard to counter. See what happens. Okay, so our tracer again is behind. He gets slept this time. So the ball and the tracer really need to connect together. The tracer going first is like. He can scout that. He can say, hey, can we dive Deanna? Uh, but he goes a little too early, I think. Our ball's still swinging in. Spin up gone, but they all counter dive, right? Tracer dies. Our ball's gonna die. Oh, nice ball. But our ball's still gonna die. I shoot. Yeah, we, we canceled the res or fair and not. Fair dies, though. So it's a mess. Again. Trades all around. They're now nanoing. Yeah, what did they nano? Oh, they nano the Diva? Nano Diva's really good against time. I would try and swap out the Moira for an Anna here. Uh, for Kaiser. And then I would look to play a more counter dive. Um, it's such a long dive, and you have to commit so hard, and especially when you're playing fair, that doesn't really work in my When you got space, ideally, you go point, right? And then you control point, uh, which is really, really good on this map, because there's two doors, and they have to, like, come into you. But when they are playing the Ana and you're playing the Moira, uh, they'll just nade you from afar, and then 
you know, shoot your fair mercy from afar, etc. That becomes very rough. Barrage. Kill like Freya with that barrage. Okay. So I think this one is like rough because you have to kill their Anna and your Moira has to live. But that's not what ended up happening, right? They, they, we ended up trading a lot. Their Anna died a few times, and then their Freya got a lot of value too. And especially first fight, our Freya like insta died. Uh, and first fights are really important on Kaf, right? No, we win this. And staggering. Yeah, I feel like the setups on the dive were a little bit better here. Obviously, it's a little bit easier when you just uh, combine two people, but uh, the overall map wasn't that well played. I feel like the Moira gets very low value. All right, rough one, boys. We got the next map. We got the next map. That's the attitude you gotta have, right? Um, but yeah, I want to finish that up by just saying uh, I think the team overall is pretty good. Just gotta really work on the way you retake especially um i think retakes are so important and you guys are trying to skip steps right now and i really feel like if you first especially in those dive mirrors right push out tags set up dive and then dive instead of just like dive 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 we gotta dive you know we're gonna use this old this old dive um no push out tags first create space and then dive and then in the the rhine mirror also like you know, take that space first before you start using all your ults. Um, try to, like, save your wall when you go through chokes. And always have your Rhine and your May stacked. Um, I feel like that's something that you guys lacked. And your Rhine was actually getting walled off without your May. And you guys were just, you know, again, skipping steps. Um, so that's a big thing I think you have to work on. And for the people on YouTube, thank you for watching this Team VOD review. And I'll see you guys in the next one.